the Hawkeyes came back smelling like a rose after three wins in the Big Ten on the road. A big win against Illinois. And our true value player of the game for Iowa was Brad Lohaus in that Illinois game. He was tough. Had 23 points, 12 rebounds. And, of course, that was a, a deficit of 22 points. The Hawkeyes came back to win that one. One of the most amazing comebacks I've ever seen. Gamble inside. Gary Wright is back in the ball game now for the Hawkeyes. They lead by 10. And once again, the timeout. Hawkeyes are able to set up an out-of-bounds play that works for an easy two. Callaway almost loses the handle. Mo on offer. 7.35 left. Thomas inside, no foul, a lot of contact. May have called it against Lorenzen. Pushing Thomas low, I believe, before he even got the opportunity to go up. Daryl Thomas, I'll tell you, will not pass it very often. He does not have many assists on this team. You'll look, he's only got seven so far this season. And for his career, he only had 24, and this is his senior year. Lob pass out on top. Phil Jones goes for it. The foul will be against Callaway. Oh, that Indiana will not. Callaway. That's a tough call. Indiana's not going to like that at all. I'd like to see that one again. Who had the position on this one? I'll tell you, those type of situations I think are no calls. The ball is up in the air. Both players are going for the ball. It's an opportunity. Both should have the freedom to get it. Callaway will go out with three. Brian Sloan checks into the ball game for the first time. His father, Jerry, played for the Bulls in the NBA, now assistant with the Utah Jazz. They try to get it inside to Wright. Gary Wright having trouble catching the basketball with that hand. Before the shot. The foul is before the shot. It will not count. That is a type of play or a foul that Bob Knight would not like. Smart just came up and bumped Jones as he started to make the move. Not in good defensive position. You'll see him go chest to chest, come up and just put his chest right into Jones. No way that's going to be called offensive. Second personal foul on Keith Smart. The Hawkeyes in the one and one now with 7.02 left to play. Bill Jones hits the first and Smart. And Thomas hit the deck. <laughs> Biggest lead of the ball game for Iowa, 11 points, 31-20. Another Big Ten score just in. It was Purdue, 87-86 over Illinois. It was home for Purdue. I guess you'd say you'd expect them maybe to win it, but it was a battle of one of those top four teams, four of them in the top ten, two meeting here and two were at West Lafayette. Bill Jones, a 6'7 junior from Detroit, went to Southwestern High School in Michigan. Second one is short. Kevin Gamble with the rebound. Another offensive rebound for the Hawkeyes. Gives them eight for the game. Smart comes down with it and is fouled by Gary Wright. Indiana, Indiana only has two offensive rebounds. Again, the dominance by the Iowa team. And one of the other factors is the fatigue factor. And Hawkeyes now bring in four new players fresh. Ed Horton, Roy Marble, B.J. Armstrong, and Brad Lohaus. The Iowa Horde check back into the game. Bobby Knight, Indiana, down by 13, 33 to 20. Smart at the line up for the one and one. What is absolutely amazing, when you look at the Iowa bench at the start of a game, you see Lorenz and Moe, Wright, and Jones. Those four started 92 games last year for the Hawkeyes, and they sit down at the start of a game this year. Gives you an idea of how much improved this team is. Right now, the Iowa bench outscoring the Indiana bench, 10 zip. Armstrong goes up, has it knocked away by Garrett. Back to Armstrong. Garrett should have just caught the ball. Rather than slap it down, Dave Armstrong has an opportunity. 
Gambo finds an opening. Garrett slaps it away again, but Gamble is fouled. Garrett with 40 blocked shots on the year heading into this ball game. He can be an intimidator inside. Got long arms, good jumping ability. Keith Smart picks up his third foul on that last play. So now two Indiana players with three fouls. Keith Smart and Rick Calloway. Tony Freeman, a 5'7 freshman from Westchester, Illinois, is in the ball game now for Bob Knight. That's the same high school, St. Joe's. Daryl Thomas is from there. Also, and Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah. He's got a pipeline to Indiana, don't they? 34-22 with 6.35 left in the half. Be interesting to see how the freshman handles the pressure. He's extremely quick. He's seen a lot of pressure in high school. Of course, this is the Big Ten. But Tony Freeman last week had 13 assists in 11 minutes playing against Northwestern.